The abundance and diversity of this order is just phenomenal, particularly among the wasps. For example, the smallest known living animal is a Costa Rican Maimarid wasp. That is just five one-hundredths of an inch. That's smaller than a single-celled paramecium and can fit easily on this pinhead. On the other hand, one of the largest wasps is the tarantula hawk wasp, which has a powerful sting, but is only a threat to tarantulas, at least I hope. But one way to see what wasps are around is to put out bright yellow dishes with soapy water. Many species are attracted to the yellow and then fall into the soapy water. A higher tech approach is with a malaise trap. That's not a pup tent. It's made to catch small flying insects that are wildly flying at full speed and slam into the center wall of the trap. The first response is to go up where it is brighter. They work their way upwards only to fall into a bottle which is full of alcohol. Now, if you don't like the high tech, one of the best places to find wasps is your window, which can be a rich habitat on a sunny day when the doors are left open. Since many wasps are small, the easiest way to ID them is with some sort of magnifying device. However, scientists are presently developing a handheld apparatus to identify species based on DNA analysis. Until that day comes, figuring out what species is what is done the old-fashioned way by comparing the form of the abdomen, type of the antennae, and how many segments it has, body hairs, leg spurs, tarsi segments, mandible teeth, and wing venation. Always wing venation. It helps to have a photographic memory. Wasps can be told from other insects by having four wings, a wasp waist, and the females have an ovipositor, or tube for laying eggs. In more advanced species, the ovipositor has evolved into a stinger that delivers venom that can be surprisingly painful and sometimes paralyze its victim. Wasps go through complete metamorphosis. While many species are solitary, certain groups have highly advanced social life. The name for these primitive wasps actually comes from the saw-like form of the ovipositor. Sawflies don't have the narrow waist joining the thorax to the abdomen like most wasps. The common sawflies have nine segments to their antennae. Like all the sawflies, their genitalia is rotated 180 degrees. Now that's really twisted. In certain species of argid flies, the female defends her cluster of eggs and then the larva, which is a great improvement over most deadbeat wasp parents. Argid sawflies are mostly smaller than half an inch, have stout bodies that are colored red, yellow, and black, and antennae with three segments that are inserted over the mouth. Their wing has this enclosed anal cell. The great news for cockroach haters is that the larvae of the Vanidae are predators of cockroach eggs. The some 30 species live at all altitudes but are more common in hot, humid forests. And the Avanids have no cells in their hind wings. And the ab abdomen has a long stalk with a triangular shape. These larger wasps lay their eggs in the nests of bees and other wasps. After the egg hatches, the larva then eats the egg of its host. So much for manners. 
Gastroupids have a hind tibia that looks swollen and a laterally flattened body. The apridid wasps are mostly found on the forest floor as they hunt fly and ant hosts in the leaves and humus. Some species even mimic the host ants. The apridid wasps are shiny black, mostly very small, and the antennae is inserted into the middle of the face. Wing venation is nearly absent, except for an enclosed cell on the forewing. This pelicinid wasp is found from Canada to Argentina, and in Costa Rica, it is most often seen in the highlands during the rainy season. The female parasitizes June beetle larvae, and the male, well, it's extremely rare to even find a male. Makes you wonder. It's difficult to even see some members of this family, since they range in size from almost not there to half an inch. They lay eggs on the eggs of other insects and spiders, which has made them useful in classical biological control. These guys have a flattened body and only one small vein, and the antennae are attached just above the mouth. There may be up to 800 species in Costa Rica of these parasitoids that develop inside beetle eggs. Now that's really small. Some 20 species parasitize beetle and fly larvae. Notice the shiny, distinctly shaped body. The over 30 species of gall wasps live mostly in the highlands, where they make galls in oak trees the female stings a leaf, flower, or other tree tissue and causes a growth. Her eggs develop safely inside this gall, feeding away on the plant tissue. Distinctions include their small size, the wing venation, and a sculptured body. An example of the interdependence of nature is the life of a fig wasp. These minute wasps are vital for the pollination of the gigantic fig trees that in turn provides so much fresh fruit for many birds and mammals. The biology of fig wasps is fascinating and very complicated. Most of the action takes place inside the fruit. The drama includes pollinating, egg laying, eating, and tunneling. Lots of tunneling through the fruit.